Hey guys, it's Kirby, and today I want to talk to y'all about the greatest animal in the world. Me. I'm what you call the long-eared jubella, or my scientific name, the Verbicious Erechnosus I'm classified in many different ways. For example, I live in a kingdom called Animalia, and I have a pretty cool family called the Dividae, etc. I don't mean to brag or anything, I'm just, uh, <laughs> just pretty awesome. Moving on. I live in a desert farm, probably Asia. We got some trees, some cacti, some shrubs. Shrubs are pretty cool. I like shrubs. We got some sand and some rocks and the sand and, um, it's, uh, it's pretty hot. And, um, yeah, it's a very interesting place where I live. And FYI, I've adapted pretty well to my environment, if I do say so myself. I hibernate in the winter and can hold pretty high temperatures. I also live in sandy valleys and build my own, what, what do you call them, burrows? Yeah, yeah, burrows. I use them to nest, hibernate, and even use them as my own personal food pantry. It's pretty comfortable. Also, my camel color hair helps me to camouflage with the sand and hide from predators and helps me live as long as six years. But that's not the only thing that makes me live as long as I do. My ears, my eyes, my legs, and my tail helps me get away from predators like owls and foxes and catch prey such as beautiful flying insects. I'm pretty antisocial until it comes to mating season, if you know what I mean. I like to communicate using sounds, visual signals, and vibrations. We have the finest cuisine, such as insects, lizards, and some other green plants I can't pronounce. Uh, because I do eat lizards, I'm considered a heterotroph. After searching for my food, I like do like to take dust baths. You know, gives me that nice, healthy, shiny glow. The sand really digs into those pores. Moving on, I would love to talk about my symbiotic relationships. Let's start with mutualism, my personal favorite. Since lizards are part of my diet, and lizards eat crickets, I'm helping the crickets out by decreasing the a d delicious green lizard population. Next is commensalism. Not my personal favorite, uh, but it'll do. Me and my best buddies, the bacteria, travel with me everywhere I go. No gas money needed, so it doesn't necessarily harm me or them. Now the very last one is parasitism. Definitely not my favorite. I have a parasitism relationship with a tick. It unfortunately harms me by, well, sucking my blood, and the tick is being fed by all this deliciousness. Now, I created this handy dandy food web that shows all the animals in my biome. My producers are mostly grasses and mosses, which are the grasshoppers and praying mantises eat, while flies eat dead grass or basically anything dead. My personal favorite delicacy are flies, but my roommates, the ducks, frogs, and hummingbirds eat them too. The foxes and owls have a very specific and delicious food type. Me. Well, that wraps it up, people. I'll see you again next time, and have a very Kirby day.